Hi, I'm Tom Cannon, Poet Laureate of Oshkosh, and I am a writer and poet living right here in your neighborhood, if you're from Oshkosh. Today I want to invite anybody that wants to have me come and speak, wants to put on a workshop for poetry, to uh, go to my website, thomascannonauthor.com. I would love to spend some time with you. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get started with poetry. And the first step is to just begin writing. And this kind of explains how I got started in writing poetry. It began with trying to capture a feeling, something that struck me, an event or a memory, phrase, some words, or perhaps an image that strike me as the essence of something that I was feeling. Uh, maybe it was something something said, or perhaps it was my own thought. And I wanted to get it down on paper. So that's what you do. You begin by writing your feelings, writing something that strikes you, just this thing that seems special to you. Uh, so I have written a number of poems and short stories. I think I've published about 50 of them. And I'm an example of the 1% system. That's where you just try to write when you can, and then each day try to get 1% better. Try to write for 1% longer. That you do not give up. And so I never gave up. Not that I'm a prolific writer. I have begun my works a long time ago, back when I could stay up late and write on the laminated desk that was jammed in the corner of our apartment kitchen. So my manuscripts tend to take a long time to finish and then a long time to get good. And I, so much so that sometimes I have to update my stories to fact that we have cell phones now and that the USSR is no longer together. I actually have poems I wrote on my computer with Windows 3.1. A fraction of them are published, but I don't believe any of them are finished. I continue to change them. If I find a journal to send a poem to, or a magazine, or just even a website, I submit it and then I find myself needing to change it. Perhaps that's my biggest worry about being the Poet Laureate of Oshkosh. I have to come up and write poems without having a decade of curing time. I wrote a poem entitled My Oshkosh. I was going to post it several times and yet I kept finding things to change. And then finally I did post it. And I am still revising it. It's published and yet some, it keeps getting better each day. I'm not knocking rhyming poetry. Um, but it is simpler to identify as poetry. And it's valuable. We are amused by it because we're able to see the fun and how those words rhyming. Rhyming is definitely a fun part of writing poetry. And it's also fun to hear. So I'm not going to discredit it. However, I usually do not rhyme. I find other techniques that speak to me. They strike the serious tone I am trying to impart. Rhyming poems can be serious, however, literary journals do not usually accept poems that rhyme. Perhaps rhyming is not popular in literary journals and stuff like that because people try to rhyme at any cost. And these are something you need, that's something you need to avoid. The words you write in your rhyming poems still have to be the best words. You cannot use the word gone with lawn and have them rhyme because the best word is spent. I believe you can use a rhyming dictionary, but you cannot select a word that rhymes that's archaic, that nobody uses anymore. For example, you can't use the word betwixt to rhyme with mixed when people today use the word between. It's also important to remember that when rhyming, you should use proper syntax. In other words, you cannot change a sentence around so that your last word rhymes with another. You cannot have Yoda speak. The first step in writing a poem is to figure out what you want to talk about and kind of explore the senses with it, how you were feeling. And then uh, after that, try to put it in some sort of form and use different techniques. And definitely if you find rhyming speaking to you, then you should absolutely write that poem with rhyming words. And actually, if you're starting out, I think maybe you want to start with rhyming poetry. Experience success with it. However, try to get better each day as a poet. Play with the other techniques to at least see if you, 
if it's for you and if it fits that poem. You just try to get 1% better each day. You should always revise, 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 trying to make at least 1% better each time. Happy writing and uh, please give poetry a, a chance today.